Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com, the premier dealership for the Vespa, uh, the Buddy Scooter as well, here in San Diego, California. So I have this 2008 used Buddy 125. You may ask why it's so special. Well, it belongs to a good friend of mine, a friend of the shop. His nickname is Gravy. Um, we've had tons of events over the last 30 years of our existence. And I would say in the last 20 years, Gravy has barbecued for many of our, um, our events. He's uh, the brother of a coworker that works here, does the paint and body work for the shop. And unfortunately, he's come across some health problems and probably isn't gonna be able to ride his scooter. So he's had the scooter for quite a long time. Uh, it's a pretty cool buddy. It's not just any of them. Um, it's all in gloss black color. It's got all the whole blackout kit trim package on it. And the best part is some of the custom pinstriping that's on the scooter. It's a pretty good touch. I'm gonna to do several videos on fully prepping the scooter for resale. I wanna make sure that this thing is 100% for the next owner. Um, but if you're interested in a scooter and want to buy it, we're going to have it available at Vespa Morris, but I don't think it's going to last that long. Used scooters, we usually, on average, have two or three. Used to be we'd have a dozen, sometimes two dozen used scooters at any time. This is, I'm talking four or five years ago. Uh, nowadays, they just sell. New scooters cost so much more money that sometimes you can get a really good quality used scooter for a lot less and just pay cash for it and be just as well set. For instance, a Buddy, 2008 Buddy 125. What's different between this and a 2022, 2023 Buddy 125? Um, doesn't have a 12 volt outlet, it has a USB outlet. That's about it, other than the color, and they did upgrade to an aluminum rim. But other than that, it's a tried and true formula for a basic, simple, easy to use, reliable scooter. Yeah, it doesn't go fast, doesn't handle all that great, you hit bumps, uh, the little 10 inch tires kind of have their limitations. They kind of wear out a little quicker, but these scooters are so, so simple to maintain. They're just rock solid little platform. I personally think it's more reliable than uh, something like a Piaggio Liberty, uh, just because those are more complicated. That's a much higher end scooter. Um, it's like kind of comparing this like a Corolla, a nice, reliable, simple car. A Liberty is kind of like a nice high-end Volkswagen product. It rides really nice, a little bit more maintenance if you know cars um, and that sort of stuff. So, um, and same with the Hondas. Hondas are pretty rock solid. I wouldn't say the new ones are. They're pretty complicated and I've fixed a lot of problems and rebuilt motors on them. I love Hondas too, but uh, they're not what they used to be. So enough of me talking about the scooter. Let me show you everything about this scooter. It's just the basic buddy. It's got the cool horns. The turn sails are pretty awesome. They're in the leg shield. It's got running lights. It's got the nice loud horn like they used to have on these. Now they're not quite as loud, I think, the new ones. And it's a nice little easy to use 125 scooter. The best part about these scooters are nice and low to the ground, easy for somebody with a shorter statute to ride and very lightweight, very maneuverable. Um, with the 10-inch tires that are quick handling. Obviously, you, got, you also have limitations of the 10-inch tires. You hit a pothole, you're gonna feel it. So let me show you around the scooter. It's a pretty cool scooter. I'm hoping somebody gets it and it's gonna help out a good dear friend of the shop by somebody buying this used scooter. So I spent quite a bit of time going through every system on the scooter. You'll see videos to follow. We put some pretty sweet white walls on there, but the best part of it is that pinstriping. It's not perfect. You got to remember it's a, was that 14 year old scooter from 2008. So, you know, you got some scuffs on it. It's still pretty clean, nice and glossy, cleaned it all up and it's just ready to go. Got real nice low miles on it. And nice simple instrumentation is what you find on the buddy. It's got the pretty cool setup for the turn signals. I got a little running lights in there too. That's something I did a long time ago. Put the running lights and such. I mean, look at that, even the buddy has a clicker on there. This is a perf 
perfect scooter for um, if you just want something that goes around town, uh, you know, small scooter that's easy to maneuver and you just can't go wrong with the buddy. It even has a full size under seat carrier. They're just excellent little simple scooters. Got the white walls on the rear and the blackout kit as well. So it's a pretty well equipped scooter and it's ready for somebody and it's going to go to a good cause, helps me out. And you can just keep on watching the channel Vespa Motorsport and you'll see all the videos to follow on fixing up the scooter to the condition because it did sit for about nine months. Uh, the cool thing is it has a lithium uh, iron phosphate battery in it and that battery cranks the scooter with no issues right away even though it's been sitting for quite a long time. So thanks for watching. I hope this goes to a new happy owner and it's helping out a good friend of the shop. Until next time, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. See you on the next one.